Hello, and welcome to License Free TV. This channel is all about the TV license system in the United Kingdom. In today's video, we'll be looking at TV licensing's enforcement approach. This video looks at things we know for certain, and a later video will examine aspects that are suspected but not confirmed. The background. Enforcement is undertaken by outsource company Capita. The main steps are not derived from legislation and can therefore mostly be ignored. There are slight differences for Scotland, which we'll talk about later. These are the main elements of enforcement. TV licensing letters, also known as threatograms. The no license needed form. Doorstep visiting. Interviews under caution. TV licensing warrants. How do TV licensing letters work? 67.8 million letters sent per year, many for enforcement purposes. Sent monthly to unlicensed households. Questionable tone, frequency and content. Are not directed by legislation and can be ignored. Supposed to stop when, no license needed, form is submitted. Later videos will examine TV licensing letters in much more detail. This information comes from the TV licensing website. TV licensing, doorstepping. 2.7 million visits per year. Only around 19% make contact with a resident. Not directed by legislation and can be ignored. Can be deterred and manipulated legally. This information comes from the TV licensing annual report. This information comes from the BBC Trust's review of TV licensing. It is historic data that is not expected to have significantly changed. This information comes from the TV licensing website. This information comes from the TV licensing, WOIRA policy. Interviews under caution. Involve a complex system of rights, but these need to be invoked uses a paper interview form. The questions presume guilt. They lead to a signed confession. This information comes from the TV licensing visiting procedures. TV licensing interview rights. You have the right to legal advice before and during the interview. You have the right to silence. You have the right to decline to be interviewed. There is no requirement to sign the form. This information is extracted from PACE, Code C. Similar provisions exist in Scotland and Northern Ireland. TV licensing warrants. These are extremely rare. They require a sworn statement of reasonable suspicion. Warrants will normally still lead to interview under caution. The same interview rights apply, even with a warrant. There are no TV licensing warrants in Scotland. Court hearings. Only ever follow interview under caution. Do not usually apply in Scotland. A signed interview form is hard to defend in court. TV licensing cases have no legal aid, or duty solicitor. TV licensing in Scotland. There are no TV licensing warrants. Two doorsteppers required for corroboration. Fixed fines are issued by the Procurator Fiscal's Office. Fines are typically £75. Not guilty cases can be taken to a full hearing. If you have questions about the UK TV license, you can ask them by leaving a comment on this video. Alternatively, TV license resistance can help with more detailed, technical questions. Money-saving expert forums can also advise on more general license questions. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, share or comment. Thanks for watching.